Between Raj's romantic failures, Leonard's sidelining from the main cast, and Bernadette's increasingly sharp tongue, some of the characters in The Big Bang Theory had disappointing story arcs. Keep watching to find out if your favorite is on the list. In the final season of The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon and Amy discover a brand new branch of physics relating to super asymmetry. The only catch is that it will be decades before Sheldon and Amy's theory can be confirmed with real-world results. Then they discover that a couple of scientists named Pemberton and Campbell have already found a way to confirm their theory. At first, Amy and Sheldon are excited to meet them. Pemberton and Campbell seem equally excited to meet Sheldon and Amy. They freely admit that they do not even understand the concept of super asymmetry. The results of their own experiment would have been a mystery to them if a colleague had not shown them Amy and Sheldon's papers. This whole thing is actually a gigantic accident. And so Sheldon and Amy think they will be teaming up with Pemberton and Campbell to win the Nobel Prize for Physics. But then the latter duo started claiming in front of the media that they alone are responsible for theorizing about and proving super asymmetry. Sheldon and Amy then have to prove they were the ones who came up with the theory. In the dead hooker juxtaposition, a new girl named Alicia moves into the same building as Leonard, Penny, and Sheldon. At first, Alicia seems like a taller, blonder, better version of Penny with a more successful acting career and also flirts outrageously with the guys. Unfortunately, it quickly becomes clear that Alicia is only flirting with the guys in order to get them to do things for her for free. The guys are too smitten with Alicia to realize her manipulative nature. They are happy to spend all their free time running errands for her and fixing up her apartment. The only good thing about the arrival of Alicia was that she forced Penny to realize she shouldn't take the guys for granted. When Penny finally asked Alicia to stop emotionally manipulating them, the new girl showed her true colors. She insulted Penny and even got into a physical brawl with her. Alicia didn't stick around after that one episode. Few people watching were sorry to see her go. In the wiggly finger catalyst, Raj was going through yet another bout of being single and lonely. Penny gets sick of hearing about how miserable he is. She fixes Raj up with Emily, a girl who is deaf. She figured that Raj's selective mutism wouldn't be a problem for a girl who couldn't hear him. At first, the relationship goes well. Emily seems sweet and understanding, and Raj quickly falls head over heels in love with her. After dating a few weeks, Raj's friends begin to notice that he is spending huge chunks of money to buy Emily presents. Things get so bad that Penny has to tell Raj's parents about his reckless splurging. Mr. Kuthropoli and his wife confront Raj and force him to choose between Emily and his monthly allowance. Raj chooses to stay with Emily, but she dumps him after learning that he can no longer afford to buy her presents. Emily returns in the emotion detection automation, where she tells Raj that his biggest problem is that he allows his parents to dominate him. She also informs him that she is now dating a fabulously wealthy man, indicating that she has not given up on her gold-digging ways. Amy Farrah Fowler had a lot of character growth throughout The Big Bang Theory, and not all of it was consistent. In the beginning, Amy was basically a female clone of Sheldon. She was a genius-level intellect who looked down on normal people and regular social customs. At that time, Amy's mom, Mrs. Fowler, had a brief appearance at the end of the Desperation Emanation. In that scene, Mrs. Fowler was portrayed as a mild and well-meaning mom who just wants her daughter to have a normal life. As Amy's characterization changed over time, it was revealed that many of Amy's mental neuroses are a direct result of her mother's strict upbringing. When Kathy Bates was recast in the role of Mrs. Fowler for season 11, her characterization worsened. The show has revealed that Amy's mother forbade her from doing many normal kid things, such as making friends and being in plays. Mrs. Fowler believed such activities led to drugs and intercourse. She would not let her husband utter a word, and she thought Amy wanted her to die so that she could inherit the China cutlery. While all the other characters on The Big Bang Theory settled down and found love, the writers of the show could never seem to decide on a girl for Raj. The one who got closest to the mark before everything fell apart was Emily Sweeney, who first appeared in The Friendship Turbulence. At first, Emily seems almost too good to be true. She's gorgeous, funny, understanding, and seems genuinely fond of Raj. She even accepts his many personal flaws, instead of reacting to them negatively like so many women before her. But as Emily started appearing on the show more regularly, her perfect facade started to crack. She was revealed to have a twisted sense of humor that Raj often found disturbing. Emily also initially and unnecessarily saw Penny as a rival for Raj's affections. After she and Raj broke up, Emily tried to emotionally manipulate him until he put his foot down. When Emily made her final appearance in the emotion detection automation, she hinted that she had dumped Raj because she did not enjoy his performance in the bedroom. 
There are plenty of instances of bad parenting on The Big Bang Theory, but Leonard's mom, Beverly, makes all the other parents look like saints. Unlike the other entries on the list, Beverly did not start out making a good impression on the audience. Leonard often told stories of his mother withholding love and affection at a young age. This seems to have led to many of his emotional hang-ups. When Beverly did show up in person, she reduced Penny to tears within minutes of meeting her, and she constantly belittled her son's accomplishments. So no original research? No. Still, the episode ended with Beverly loosening up. It seemed she and her son would have a better relationship moving forward. Unfortunately, that did not end up happening. Across her next appearances on the show, Beverly continued to be a cold and emotionally distant mother. She looked down on Leonard for his emotional neediness. Beverly also largely refused to accept responsibility for the way her son turned out as an adult. In the end, Leonard realized his mother would never change and that he needed to stop craving her approval. Let's add another name to the list of girls Raj struck out with. Lucy was a fellow geek whom Raj met at a comic book store in the tangible affection proof. She was as awkward as Raj, but the two managed to strike up a conversation that turned into a first date. Like Raj, Lucy was shy and unconfident. This seemed adorable at first, until Lucy ditched Raj on their first date. It turned out that Lucy was not shy so much as pathologically avoidant to the extent she had trouble developing new relationships or being close with another person. At first, Raj thinks his own neuroses are the perfect complement to Lucy's social anxiety issues. But no matter how hard Raj tried to make things work, Lucy proved again and again that she was a flight risk. She kept breaking up whenever Raj tried to take the relationship to new levels. Finally, Lucy ended things with Raj for good. His feelings of heartbreak over the situation were extreme. Even the perpetually peppy Penny was disgusted by how Lucy ended things with Raj. She shouted at Lucy in public in the itchy brain simulation. However, the whole situation did help Raj overcome his selective mutism. Raj's sister Priya was yet another attempt by the writers of The Big Bang Theory to give Leonard something to do in between breakups with Penny. Priya was like a more competent version of Raj. She was smart and empathetic, and she stood up to others when the occasion demanded it. She was generally sweet and caring toward her loved ones. One of the most impressive things Priya does in her time on the show is to thwart Sheldon's will by employing his own roommate agreement rulebook against him. But there's no but, Sheldon. That's how the law works. Even Penny can't help but be jealous, as Priya seems to be better than her at everything and a better fit for Leonard. Unfortunately, Priya's golden sheen begins to wear off over time. Initially, she is ashamed of introducing Leonard to her parents. She also tries to stop Leonard from being friends with his ex, Penny, and is openly disrespectful of Leonard's more geeky interests. In one of the final times she appeared on the show, Leonard almost cheated on Priya with another girl, but was able to control himself. That is when Priya admitted she cheated on Leonard by sleeping with an ex, and the two broke up. Raj started out in the series as simply an awkward guy who was too shy to talk to women, but the show started making frequent gay innuendo jokes regarding Raj's relationship with Howard. It might explain why the two of you have created an ersatz homosexual marriage. When Raj learns that getting drunk allows him to talk to women, he goes overboard and acts creepily toward his dates in a drunken haze. This was very out of character. Raj was originally characterized as a smart, sensitive, self-made astrophysicist. As the show went on, he seemed to become clingier and more dependent on his parents' money. He remained single until the very last episode. The character's actor, Kunal Nair, has his own thoughts on the disappointing end for Raj. I find it quite poignant that the one character that believed in true love so much was the one who didn't, in the end, find it. It's beautiful. It doesn't have to be so formulaic. That's what I loved about the show. It doesn't have to be a certain way, you know? Perhaps the character with the most wasted potential on The Big Bang Theory was Stuart Bloom, the owner of the comic book store. When Stuart first shows up in the second season of the show, he is depicted as a rare nerd who is actually socially competent. In his very first appearance in the Hofstadter Isotope, Stuart is introduced as a small business owner and a talented artist. Is this me? Depends. Do you like it? Wow, it's really good. Yes, that's you. He draws a skillful sketch of Penny and successfully asks her out on a date. Basically, Stuart is shown as a better version of Leonard without the insecurities. He wears his nerd status confidently on his sleeve. After Howard got married, Raj started getting paired with Stuart more often, and that was when the latter character started going downhill. He became as scared of approaching women as Raj, lost his business, and developed a bunch of health issues. From being a charming go-getter, Stuart devolved into another version of the needy and desperate Raj, but with even less success in life. And also like Raj, the character's downward spiral is played for laughs on the show. 
When Bernadette first showed up on The Big Bang Theory, the biggest issue with the character was that she was too low-key. Bernadette was sweet and friendly and sympathetic and the perfect foil for Howard, the would-be ladies' man. After the two got married, Howard became a more low-key and temperate character, which seemed to bring out the worst traits in Bernadette. Bernadette became more sharp-tongued, both with Howard and other characters. The explanation given was that Bernadette used to be a babysitter who can be a strict disciplinarian when the occasion demands it. But gradually, that strictness turned into a full-on bullying. Her office colleagues are terrified of crossing her. Bernadette is shown to be perfectly aware of the fear she invokes in her colleagues and her friends, and she enjoys it. The character also starts bragging about her high-paying job and shading Howard for not making as much money as she does. Bernadette learns to calm down a bit after becoming a mom, but bits of her past aggression still manage to leak out from time to time. People might not remember it now, but there was a time when Sheldon was not the main character on The Big Bang Theory. The show started out being about Leonard's hopeless crush on Penny and his geeky friends getting in the way of his attempts to woo her. Over time, Leonard and Penny started dating, and by the last few seasons, they had gotten married. But having a happily ever after scenario for the two would not have made for interesting television. The characters continued to evolve within their marriage, but unfortunately, not for the better. Leonard is shown to have become a complete doormat. He lives in fear of offending his wife because he still does not believe himself worthy of her. He is afraid she might someday leave him. This behavior is indicated to be a result of Leonard's troubled relationship with his mom. Penny now replaces his mom as the most important woman in his life. Later seasons show much less of Leonard having fun and more of the other characters making fun of Leonard. Sadly, Penny often leads the charge. In the beginning of The Big Bang Theory, Penny was set up as every man's fantasy. She was beautiful, but not stuck up about it. She was also genuinely kind and helpful to Leonard as he fumbled his way around asking her out. Despite their differences in personality and interests, Leonard and Penny ended up in what seemed to be a loving marriage, but that soon began to change as the marriage progressed. Penny started making more money than Leonard as a salesperson for a pharmaceutical company. Suddenly, Penny's attitude toward Leonard changed from loving and supportive to bullying and overly critical. She no longer even tried to hide her contempt for Leonard's nerdy hobbies and threw away his prized toy items without consulting him. Penny was also revealed to have been a bully in high school, and that bullying nature seems to extend to her current friends. Many jokes are also made about Penny being a borderline alcoholic. Many viewers did not like the way Penny proposed to Leonard once in a drunken haze. She then became angry when he hesitated. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Big Bang Theory are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.